Hey guys, this is Materi Dubstep, and I have another tutorial. This one is on resampling. Now, resampling is a really cool method for um, dubstep. You can get a really glitchy type feel. You can it like adds variation to your your drops, and it makes them cool. Um, what resampling is is essentially recording your tracks into one into one audio clip, and then chopping that up into a uh, like slicing to MIDI and then you could glitch around with that and it's a lot easier than you guys think I'll be using Ableton Live so if you have Ableton Live you're in luck so um, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is I have my track here and what I'm gonna do is I took out my drum tracks because I don't want them played throughout my um, resampling so I can have my own like different drums rather than like have these drums resampled. It'll make sense when we do it. Now I'm gonna go to the start of the measure or the four bars that I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna first do a punch in punch out for recording and that will make it good. So <clears throat> now let's add a an audio track so you right click down here insert audio track or you can do control T now open this up and if you don't already have this um, little area this ins and outs you can click on this button right here it says I dash O and that's for inputs and outputs the top one right now says X in and we're gonna just click on that and change it to resampling and now we're going to press the end so we're getting our or we're going to be recording our input and what resampling does for the end is it just just listens to the master so now let's record and press play <laughs> uh, that sucks I accidentally messed up so I'm going to delete that go forward a little bit in time and now I'm going to record. And as you can see, the punch out and the punch in makes it so that I only record what's in the loop brackets. It's pretty cool. Now we can unarm our track change it back to auto, put it back to extend, doesn't matter. And now if we solo this, we have all these tracks that we're on. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to, first of all, let me bring this over here. So it's on a like so it's not over here and doubling up. You're gonna right click on the audio clip and we're going to slice to new MIDI track. And now you can do whatever. I'm gonna stay with one eighth and just use the slicing preset built in. And that's gonna give us a MIDI track. We can delete this audio track. It's gonna give us this MIDI track. Now watch if I play it. You see how it's like playing along, so watch. If you have a MIDI keyboard or a launch pad, which I, I have a launch pad, um, you could play now, you could play different type of um like a different sound so for my purpose uh one eighth might have been a little too much so i'm gonna undo that delete delete my midi track and do that again but change this to one fourth and now i'm just gonna mute this just in case i have to do that again <laughs> So that we 
be essentially just resampled, and I'm just going to give you guys a taste of some cool, really different bass lines you guys can do with resampling. Hold on. I'm sorry that I'm taking a little bit of time to do this. Just going to bring this over. Do, 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 do. So now I'm going to turn these on. And now you can see we have this MIDI with all these different slices. And we could just play around with them. Oopsie, what did I do? So you can see it's pretty powerful. You can get that glitch type Skrillex effect. Um, a bunch of, like, I personally love this glitch type. I think it sounds so cool. And now, what you can make, you can make this a little cooler. If you want to really change it up, you can um, play with pitch bend. Which I know how to do this. I know how to do this. Um, suck on my juice box. The world is going to see that. I know there's a pitch bend somewhere. Oh well, if I can't find it in like two seconds, oh well. Oh no, I don't feel like going through that. Whatever. Uh, whatever. That's good enough for me. Now let's hear how that sounds. You could hear the first, like how it, how different it sounds, and how cool you can make your songs. <laughs> So you see, that's like, it's so awesome to uh, resample, and um, you could either do this manually by cutting up your tracks, but this way is honestly the easier way. So play around with it. I'm sure you guys will love it if you're into this glitch style like I am. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tor tutorial, sorry, and um, hope you guys continue to watch my videos. <laughs>